Well, for five hours today, State Health Commissioner Dr. Howard Zucker was grilled by state lawmakers, mostly about COVID and nursing homes. And as Steve Brown reports tonight, it was clear that some lawmakers had not forgotten the last time that Zucker was before them. State Health Commissioner Dr. Howard Zucker has been at Governor Andrew Cuomo's side throughout the pandemic. At today's budget hearing, at least one lawmaker wanted to know if Zucker was the person they were actually speaking with. To what specific level uh, is your testimony today directed by, prepared by, influenced by, limited or otherwise um, reflecting uh, direction from the office of the governor. This is all my testimony and prepared by me. You see, the last time Dr. Zucker fielded questions from state lawmakers, he could not answer an important question about COVID nursing home deaths. At that time, back in August, it was widely known that the state health department did not count as a COVID nursing home death if a resident with COVID was transferred to a hospital and died there. And while state lawmakers waited for a true count of fatal COVID cases that originated inside nursing homes, months passed. Then in late January, Attorney General Letitia James released a report that the state health department had undercounted nursing home deaths due to COVID by approximately 50%. That's the number we were seeking. That total that got the contagion in a nursing home and went to a hospital, not combined with all the other hospital deaths. But we now know not directly from you, but from others in the administration, that that data was deliberately withheld. Governor Cuomo has repeatedly explained that information was not passed along to state lawmakers because his administration prioritized data requests by the U.S. Justice Department. Many of the saltiest questions today came from the opposition party Republicans, but not all of them. New York City Democrat Alessandra Biaggi, a frequent Cuomo critic, wanted to know if Zucker continued to support legal immunity for nursing homes granted at the beginning of the COVID crisis. Do you support the corporate immunity provision in the budget from last year, yes or no? I support what we did with the immunity at that point in time, yes. But Zucker would not say if the Cuomo administration would continue to support protecting nursing homes from COVID lawsuits. In Buffalo, Steve Brown. Channel 2 News.